I call the honourable member for Melbourne. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Agriculture. Given Chinese government-owned company Shenhua's watermark coal mine is about to be developed in the heart of the Liverpool Plains, what have you, as Minister for Agriculture, and your government done to protect the Liverpool Plains from mining? And what will you do to stop this mine going ahead and irreversibly damaging some of the best agricultural land in Australia? Doesn't massive coal mining in the heart of some of the most fertile farmland in the country demonstrate the failure of the National Party to stand up for farmers against the mining industry? The parliamentary secretary will desist, and the minister for agriculture has the call. Well, um, Madam Speaker, I thank, I thank the honourable member for his question. And might I the remind the House, let's forget the, the chronology life. of this right. The exploration rights for that mine were granted by the Labor Party. The Labor Party for $300 million. The Labor Party by a minister who has been called to be corrupt by, by ICAC. Minister Macdonald, you remember him, wouldn't you? One of yours, Minister Macdonald, for three hundred million dollars. So what we were handed, what we were handed on this side, is the actions of a corrupt, a corrupt minister, and we're trying our very. It looks like some people, some people might know him better than others. Some people might know him better than others on that side. So I'm happy to ask me a question about the actions of a corrupt Labor Party minister and what they have done and how we are trying to deal with this issue. And I acknowledge that the only area that we now have to deal with it is under the water trigger. But we can only deal with it in a specific area. And might I suggest that we are looking at this, we are doing our very best in the very limited area we have, because it's state legislation and a corrupt Labor Party minister set this up. I call the honourable member for 